everyone, my name is Kay Kaldoff and welcome to a Stamping to Share video. Thank you so much for joining me today and we're going to make a darling treat holder using the Jar of Haunts stamp set from the 2016 Stampin' Up! Holiday Catalog. This is what the stamp set looks like and of course there's all kinds of things you can put in the jar, anything from candy corn to a pumpkin to spiders, to eyeballs, so there's there's lots of thing, things that can make that jar look scary. But there's also one jar that's totally decorated, and it's a little mummy that you'll find inside the jar. The jar's all wrapped up, and it's really cute. I just love it. And then um, we're gonna do these treat holders in such a way so that when you open it up, you see the sentiment inside, a spooky treat for you to eat. And then, of course, on the back, we've got some scary eyes. And then we just use washi tape to keep that candy in place. And so this is the jar that we're going to make that uses two of the Hershey miniature candy bars. And then I'm also going to share dimensions with you in case you prefer to use the Hershey Nuggets. Now the Hershey Nuggets is made exactly the same way. It's just that the box is a little bit wider and it will fit three nuggets. And so again, I just secure that with a little bit of washi tape. And so the back has the cute eyes just like the other one. And so these are just adorable. I hope you will enjoy learning how to create these. So let's go ahead and get started. Now I should mention that the Everyday Jars framelits will coordinate with this and you will need that middle jar which I have already have set up on my Big Shop machine. But you will need that middle jar to cut out either of these two jars that, that go with the Jar of Haunts stamp set. So the first thing that we're going to need is a piece of Whisper White paper. I have this cut at three by five inches and I've scored it at two and a half. And we're just gonna go ahead, we're going to fold along that score line. And then I've got my bone folder here and we're going to give that a real nice press. We definitely want this line flat for us because we're going to be stamping very close to this fold line. So I'm just gonna make sure that is nice and pressed down. Then we're going to bring our Stampin' Up Stampin' Mat into the picture because this is a photopolymer stamp set and we're going to use our Tuxedo Black Memento ink. So I'm going to open that up. I've got the jar right here and I'm just going to ink that jar up with the ink. And then we're going to stamp this so that the top of the jar is almost at the very top of this fold line. So we'll give that a good press and I'll show you what I mean. So you can see how the top of the jar is almost at the top. And then what that looks like is once you've run it through the Big Shot machine, as I did with this one, you can see how when you put this on, you wanna make sure that your jar does not cut through that fold line, the, the framelit jar, so that when you pull it out of the Big Shot machine, it will open up like this and that will give you a little place right here to put your sentiment. So let's go ahead and add that sentiment. And I've got that sentiment right here. We're going to ink that up again in Tuxedo Black Memento ink. And we'll just go ahead and stamp that right here. And so we have the inside of our jar ready to go. Now we're going to make that box. And so I mentioned there's two sizes of boxes that I have for you. And I'll share the nugget box at the end of the video, but the one that we're going to do today is for the Hershey Miniatures. So I'll bring this up to the top of the video, and you can see that you're going to need a two and three fourths by three and three fourths inch piece of Whisper White paper. On the three fourths inch side, you will score it at one and a half and two and one fourth. And then on the two and three fourths inch side, you'll score it at three fourths and two inches. So I have that ready to go right here. So I'm just going to fold along all the score lines. And then I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut right here and here. So we have little flaps on each side and then here and here. Now before I go ahead and put this all together, I want to make sure that I have my eyes stamped. So I'm going to ink up those eyes with our Memento ink in Tuxedo Black. And then I'm going to use my 
Pear Pizzazz marker from the Subtles marker set. I'm just going to add a little greenness down here underneath for the shadows. And then I'm going to take the Peekaboo Peach marker from our 2016-18 marker set for the in colors. And I'm just going to, to touch that into the eyeballs here and give him some, some kind of spooky orange eyes. And so that is ready to go. Now all we have to do is put this together. So to do that, I'm going to take my snail and I'm just going to add some snail to each of these inside flaps. And then I also want to add some snail to these longer flaps here. So now to put it together, all I do is I bring this set in and I bring that little flap up like so. And you can see how I'm doing that. And then these flaps just cover up those flaps. And so I'm going to fill it with my Hershey Miniature Candy Bars. Just put them in like this. And now I'm going to take some Halloween Night Designer Washi Tape. And I'm just going to take some of this kind of perfect plum washi tape. It looks just like this. It's kind of got a grid on it. And I'm just going to set it so that I can see where it goes down on the face. I don't want it too far down, so I always do that part first. And then I wrap the extra around to the back. And then the next thing that we need to do is we're just going to add some tear and tape to the back. So I'm going to add that in right like this. And then another little strip right here. And this will secure it to our little mummy jar. So we're going to just take our scissors and remove the tear and tape. And we'll do the same thing to the other side. And then to actually put it onto this little jar piece, I have my jar piece flush with the surface and then I just move that box right into place and then when I see that it looks pretty even I just bring it up to meet and our little treat holder is done. So isn't that really cute and easy? So now I said I would share the nugget treat holder which looks like this and so let me give you the measurements for that. The nugget box for the Jar of Haunts treat holder would be three and a half by four inches and then on the four inch side you'll score at one and a half and two and a half and on the three and a half inch side you'll score at one and two and a half and that will make your box just a tiny little bit bigger so that you have room for the nuggets. So this is what it all looks like and it's just so adorable. I truly hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Here are all three of them. Just so cute. So thank you so much for stopping by Stamping to Share. I truly appreciate you. If you're interested in placing a Stampin' Up! product order, please see my blog at www.stampingtoshare.com. And there's links for you there to place orders in my online store. Have a great day. Bye-bye.